AI art as you know it is dying. In fact, it's a ticking time bomb ready to explode. Wanna know why? Welcome to the Art Mentor, my name is Sean, and make sure you pay attention to all the points in this video because I predict that in the next two to five years, AIR, as you know, will be dead, all the hype will be gone, and all the users will be gone too. Here's why. The first and most obvious glaring reason as to why I think AIR is going to die very soon is simply because of the fact that their users, which let's not call them users, let's call them customers, they are not loyal customers. And when I say that, it's because they were not attracted to art for the right reasons. This is no different than if I tell anybody why they got into commissions for the wrong reasons too. They got into AI generations, they got into that form of art, if you wanna call it that, because of the potential for getting attention, getting clout, or maybe generating like crazy sales, which no no one's doing anyways. So because of that, because there is a lack of sincere interest in art and actually learning something about art, they are not in it for the right reasons and they are going to flee. Now, when are they going to flee? Very simply put y'all, when the glory is gone because AI art serves its users a very cheap and quick dopamine hit every single time. It is not producing a long and sustained fulfillment that normal art making does give to real artists. Now, because of that, as soon as AI art changes, if it were ever to shut down or anything else happened to it, they would be gone. They would never make art again in their life. However, though, I'm just gonna tell you this, if the opposite were to happen and AI were to just take over the whole world, which it won't anyways, then artists would still be making artwork. You can't say that for the opposite audience though, could you? If you're not in art, for the right reasons, for sincere reasons, for personal fulfillment, and for really intrinsic reasons, then it's just not gonna last. You ever thought about that? You've no doubt heard how AIR has made advances and they're now rolling out new things. There's control in that, there's in-painting, there's out-painting, it's no longer just simple prompting. And no doubt that there's gonna be things every once in a while that'll come up and it'll be this new perceived revolution. But well, some would call it advances, I'm gonna call it what it really is, it's a gimmick because they have to build and implement so many different technologies just to try and fix everything that's horribly wrong and perpetually flawed with everything that AI makes. And you really gotta sit down and admit this here, every single time that there is a new gimmick that comes out here, it's basically just like DLC content for like Call of Duty. Now here's the really important part about these gimmicks. They're necessary because without the gimmicks, without the cheap little fixes to make the artwork, yeah, like a little 2% better every single time, then they're not going to keep their user base interested and they will flee. And it needs to be like this. They need to implement cheap little tricks or cheap little gimmicks like this all the time because if they don't, then they know that their customer base, they're gonna go because it gets boring and they don't like what they can't do. So let me ask you this friend, what's gonna happen when all of those tricks are all at their limits? When they hit everything that they think that they can do and it's still flawed, what's gonna happen? Their customers are gonna leave. Same thing happens when games get old, people get tired of playing them. And that is what AIR is producing the effect of. Haven't you noticed? If you're currently an AI user and you're sitting hoping at some point that your AI generations are going to give you some type of job opportunity in the future, some type of sustainable career, I just wanna ask you this. Why would anybody pay you to prompt? Why would anybody pay you to do what a machine can do? You have to really understand this here, y'all. AI art was put out and is continually being developed to replace artists, but that also means AI users, because why would anybody want to pay you for what anybody in my position could already do and fix and do better anyways? So the fact that there is any type of promise potentially for some type of job deal? No, totally wrong, my friend. I got to tell you this, there's only going to be two types of jobs that come about from AI, and that's going to be in business and in software engineering, nothing else. In fact, from everybody that I've spoken to in every major art industry that has hired somebody with an AI-based portfolio, they have been very promptly, see what I did there, fired because they don't know anything about art, they can't make corrections, and there are severe limitations that they can't overcome. So because of that, no friend, there will never be jobs in AI, so I wouldn't hold your breath on that either. Now think about this, if normal art has scarce job offerings, why do you think that AI would be any different? 
However, though, there is one major job field that I do want to give AI credit for. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking all of the cheap clients that none of us want to work with and that never had any respect or dignity for art in the first place. So have at those $10 commissions. You earned it. Now, with all of the buzz and the excitement about AI and people coming into it, right? Here's what I want to let you know, friend. The average lifespan of the average freelance artist is one to two years. In AI users, you're currently on month nine of that. So here's what I want to say. Welcome to the art world, okay? You think that maybe there's a chance for you to make it, but I'm just going to be honest with you. You're currently experiencing the high right now of everybody that graduates art school and thinks that they're going to get into a massive big time job. However, though, you're going to meet the same roadblocks and the same confusions and the same exact obstacles that exist for normal artists. In the next two years, there will be a mass exodus of AI users because they were promised that there would be thousands of dollars that they could make and they're going to be able to change their lives with everything. And it's the same song and dance of every single cheap gimmicking marketing routine that you've ever seen for any type of pyramid scheme. All AI users will be facing the same exact competition that all of us real artists already faced. And that's gonna cause most of them to be weeded out and to quit within the next couple of years. Because once those 15 seconds of fame are done, once all the followers don't care about everything that's going on with them, once they lose that crowd, who's gonna wanna buy their images? The most curious of phenomena regarding AI users right now is their own cannibalism. Have you seen this? Have you ever noticed this? There's a lot of infighting amongst all of them. Now, do artists fight? Yes, of course we do. And naturally, not all of us are nice to each other, okay? However, though, I really see a curiosity happening with all AI users right now, which is essentially that they're trying to protect their prompts and they're trying to sell their prompts. And then they get mad when someone buys those prompts and then shares it with the rest of the world. And then compounding on top of that issue, they're also trying to copyright all of their prompts so that they own them. Like you can't own words. How hypocritical is that by the way? So you're telling artists that we can't have our images, that we can't own what we produce. However, you're trying to safeguard what you didn't produce in the words that you don't own. It's like you own some section of the English dictionary. That's so lame. That is so nonsensical, don't you think? It doesn't make any sense. And that cannibalism is gonna eat away at the core and the foundation of their user base. And it's gonna lead to a mass degradation of what AI currently is and will always be able to do. Now, when AI first came out, y'all remember how they promised that AI would be able to innovate and create brand new styles and it would really bring a lot of freshness to art? Well, look, I gotta be honest with you. The only style that they've done is the AI art style. Have you noticed this? It's so easily identifiable and anybody can pick it out out of a lineup. And in fact, it's already been so commodified because there's such a mass influx of it that there's a massive growing distaste from it and people hate seeing it. There's such a gross amount of AI images being put out there right now that everybody can't stand it. And even the users that have accrued a vanity following that seems like a really high number, it's not really gonna last because they're never gonna be able to bring anything really true and new onto the scene other than what they're currently doing. Now, when AI first came out, there's a lot of tomfoolery happening here where art clients were totally unaware. Now, they're very savvy. Now. Our clients can't stand AI images and they're now getting so savvy that they can spot it and they are actively seeking to go away from AI users and definitely don't like working with them. So that growing distaste is only going to create eventually more jobs and more opportunities for real artists to get back into the fields where they belong and to be able to do the stuff that they want and sustain themselves. Whereas AI users are going to be weeded out. Now, the more users that get hooked on to AI platforms, the more more that this is going to happen and the less attention that they're going to receive. And when they're not getting attention, they're going to fade away. Now, as we go through the rest of these points, one thing I'm going to ask from you is that if you're liking this video, if you're finding this helpful, if you think more people need to hear it, please go ahead and drop that like on this video so that this can be put out to more artists because artists deserve to have that comfort of knowing that no, they will not be replaced. And this is just a short term impact. Now let's roll into this one. Born from the hubris of AI developers and especially the rotten CEOs, 
are gonna be more anti-AI softwares, okay? Right now, the biggest one that's out there is called Glaze. And I'm gonna leave a link in the description right now for artists to go ahead and check out. But this is going to be right now the best anti-AI software so that your images cannot be scraped and added, therefore, into their databases. Now, it is certainly inevitable that the more time that passes, the more of these that are going to come out because there is a mass amount, this is the grossest degree of artistic plagiarism and copyright infringement that has ever been seen. I predict that this will be a really big game changer and a massive blow, and it is inevitable in the next couple of years, this is gonna start to come out heavily. And beyond that, beyond just doing this to simple users, the ones like myself that will upload art to our platforms, art platforms are going to have to utilize the same exact software because if they don't adapt to that, they're going to lose their entire user base. If you think I'm wrong on this, look what happened to ArtStation. As soon as they took a non-stance against AI art, they lost so many of their professional users. Everybody was dropping their professional memberships to it. And that's going to happen because all AI users are short-term users of their platforms because they have no reason to continue to make images and post them online because it's not gonna give them that dopamine hit anymore. Tell me what you think down below, what your predictions for what anti-AI or software might come about in the future. Cause I'd love to know what your predictions could be too. Now this is a point in the video where everything I'm about to say is gonna royally piss off AI users, but I just gotta be real with you. There will always be perpetual limitations to what AI art can do because just to be honest with your friends, it has already reached in nine months its peak performance. And there will always be severe limitations to what AI art can do versus what a human artist can do. As a human artist, my friend, you have infinite potential versus an AI user, you have extraordinarily limited potential in what you can do because you're limited to technology versus a human artist, we have an infinite degree of learning potential. And the ones that will combat me on this and combat this rhetoric, here's what I wanna ask about that. Why do you overvalue what a machine can do and undervalue what a human can do when 100% of the time, humans have always proven themselves to be more flexible than machines? This is not as simple as putting the engine over a horse. And if you view art that way, I just wanna let you know, friend, you have been misguided. So what will happen from here on? Really marginal advances. However, though, as a human being, as a real artist, you have extraordinary potential and something really unique that AI cannot offer. And I hope that you realize that. The biggest topic about why AI art is not going to in its current state last is because of the gray area that AI art currently occupies in the legal sphere. In the next two to five years, there will be legal precedent set by all of the lawsuits that will happen and more artists are naturally going to come out and sue the pants off of every single AI developers. Now what this is naturally gonna result in are severe limitations and caps on what AI can do and what fields they can impact and of course, the amount of impact it's gonna have on a field. Now, I haven't even gotten to the biggest part, so here we go. The worst part, legally, about what AIR currently has is that nobody has ever cracked the black box of its data training set. Nobody knows what's in there, but I'm gonna tell you this. Legal battles, lawsuits, compensation, not even the worst of it. Here's what is the worst of it. People will go to jail. There will be incarcerations when people look inside that box and they see what is in there. So if you're only focused on potentially these companies losing money, no, my friend, people are gonna go to jail from it. If they really crack open that box and the first time any country looks into what is inside of those training data sets, game over. Wait till you see it's gonna happen. Let me ask you this now, what is the main purpose of AI art and why does it exist? Well, according to their websites, what they'll all generally say is that they want to democratize art, which by the way, do, do we not do art in public schools? That's already been democratized for a couple hundred years, thanks a lot. But anyways, here's what I need to let you know. Whenever anybody utters the phrase democratize, that is purely the rhetoric of oppressors and conquerors and AI developers are both of them. Now here's the real kick in the pants to what's definitely going to happen. Let's say that you think that all of my points are total nonsense, all right? 
Here's the real blow that you're gonna experience as an AI user. Inevitably, if this were to become mainstream, if AIR actually did pick up a lot of steam and it did come into all of the art spheres, or it did start to, for whatever reason, in whatever shape or form, if it was restructured, if it experienced a metamorphosis, let's call it, into something else than what it currently is. Here's what is inevitable. There will be a mass reconsolidation of power, and that will go to people like us, real artists, because it will never be put into the hands of somebody that doesn't understand art, that can't actually paint, that can't actually photo bash, that can't actually utilize art skills, art knowledge, art history in a really efficient sense. It's naturally going to happen, y'all. All of this democratization of art is total nonsense, and that's just how they hook their customers into it, because it sounds like this really big, noble goal, but it's really just trash. So if you're an artist watching this and you are deeply passionate about art and you're really nervous that AI is still gonna be a pervasive force, might be taking away jobs and opportunities from you, I wanna rest you assured right now, friend, it's definitely not. And in fact, it is so flawed that I made an entire video right here that's gonna tell you everything that you need to do starting right now to beat AI art, get those clients and reclaim those jobs. So go ahead and check it out.